everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You're now listening to the Whole Truth Program, coming to you from the sanctuary of the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Josie Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Evans. Lord God, once again, we come before the throne of glory. Lord God, we're thanking you for another day, for another hour. We're thanking you, Lord God, for blessing us to be here today to hear the word of God. Lord God, we thank you for your word, and we pray, Lord, that you will fix our hearts, Lord God, to prepare to hear your word being preached today. Lord God, bless our ears that it might hear your word Lord God, and not only hear it, but to obey your word today, Lord God. We know that your word is able to save our souls today in these last and evil days. Lord God, and we pray that you will bless those that are in radio land today, that your word might bless them, Lord God, in their situations, Lord God. We know that you are drawing men and women unto repentance, and you haven't stopped yet, Lord God. Lord God, bless someone today. Someone is on the verge of making the wrong decision today, Lord God. Bless them to make the right decision, Lord God. Bless those who are on the verge of backsliding, Lord God. Let your word cut them to the heart that they might return unto the fold. Lord God, we need you each and every day, Lord God. And we pray, Lord, that you might bless Bishop Tisdale as he begins to preach the word, Lord God, that all people all over the world, Lord God, might be blessed through the message, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that he is able to preach the word without respect of persons. He's able to preach the word, Lord God, that it, it, it cuts people to the heart, Lord God, and it makes us straight today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in these last and evil days for all things. For, bless those who are sick and afflicted, Lord God. Bless the infants, Lord God. Bless the parents, Lord God. We do ask all of these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Again, you're listening to the Whole Truth Program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017, Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and calendar events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Our great second quarterly assembly meeting of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ will convene here at the headquarters church in Hartsville, South Carolina, beginning on Tuesday night, December 24th through Sunday night, December 29th, 2013. I will serve again each night at 7.30 p.m., except on Sunday morning, December 29th, when I will serve again at 11 a.m. and will continue throughout that day. All are cordially invited to be with us in these great spiritual services in the Lord. Again, all these, if it is the Lord's will. Now, at this time, the choir will render a selection entitled, Surely Goodness and Mercy.
And now it is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, God of heaven and earth. And we do greet every one of you, all of our listeners, whoever you are, all of the saints of God throughout the world. We do greet you with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world in the name of Jesus Christ. We are so glad to be able to stand and speak to you about the goodness of the Lord. We see that we are alive and there's certain things that we should do while we are alive in this body. As Peter said, the apostles of God in the Second Peter 1, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is something that must go out to you continually. And Jesus Christ says that he was the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. So I know that he is doing according to the plan of salvation that he placed here. He is doing the work. Man. <clears throat> he is the one that is speaking to the church today. You may not believe it, but it's written in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Not you that speaketh. He said, but the spirit of my father, That's the, word. the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's what's doing the job. Mm -hmm. We are living naturally so much until we cannot desire the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. It's not in a natural thought. Amen. God have to reveal it to us, the word said, by his spirit. And God wants us in order where he can reveal to us by the spirit. Amen. Amen. So an entrance should be preached to you continually, the word of God said. That's right. Doesn't matter how many times I come before you, I'm crying out like the Lord said. Amen. When Jesus came, the first sermon that he began to preach, he told the people to repent. Yeah. Amen. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, it's the same thing. More so now. Amen. We're trying to get you from natural to his spiritual mind. Amen. His spiritual mind going to be after the things that is of God. Amen. Amen. The only thing that's going to get information out of God. Natural man can't see it. All right, read it what it said. Second Peter 1 and 10. All right. Wherefore the rather, brethren. All right. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things. For if you do these things. You shall never fall. Now, I don't want to fall. Man. I want to do the things that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Don't want to be barren. I want to be fruitful mm -hmm. in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he's the head of my life. Yeah. He's the head of the church. Yes, he, he is, is the church. Yes. Yeah. And his name <clears throat> have all the help you need. Amen. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ. This is something I must continually speak to you about. Amen. Amen. What did it say, reader? For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you. You hear what the word say? Abundantly. How much? For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly. Amen. You know what abundance means, right? Amen. You saturated with it. Mm -hmm. Every time you look around. Amen. Here it comes. Is that right? Yeah. If, if you saturated in money, amen, you have it on hand at all times, don't you? You know Amen. you got it. Right. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. So this entrance should be preached unto you abundantly. Into the air. Abundantly. Air Amen. Because people mind, your mindset not right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our mind supposed to be the mind of Christ. Yeah. Amen. That means I forget about my mind. That's right. Because it's corrupt from the very beginning. Yeah. It's corrupt. 
Your mind, my mind, it's corrupt. Mm -hmm. It's not going to do what the Spirit says. That's why the word of God said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Isn't that right? Surely. His mind has to be in the church. Amen. Amen. And you can have church. You can have church with our minds. That's right. Our mind is made up of foolishness. Amen. Amen. Rebellious and unbelieving. Amen. Doubting God. Yeah. Amen. But the mind of Christ, believe in the Lord. Isn't yes. that wonderful? Amen. Everybody ought to have his mind. That's right. From the preachers on down. The mind of who? Christ. Amen. Philippians 2 and 5. I, I want to stop sinning here. Yeah, yeah. And I want to know. See, I'm going to give you this entrance, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to know what must I do, amen, that I might live a holy life. Yeah. What that word say, Rita? Let this mind be in you. All right. Which was also in Christ Jesus. The same mind. Amen. Amen. He mind the thing of the Spirit, the Father. That's what right. What do we mind? Foolishness Foolish. and, and the cares of the world. So, These are the amen. things that we bind. Amen. amen. But Christ's mind going to satisfy the Father. Amen. The Spirit. Amen. Is that right? Amen. People can't live right. Why? You don't have the mind of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the only mind. How many minds we supposed to have? One. Amen. My people know that. It sure they answer me right quick. Oh, yeah. One. <laughs> Surely. One mind. Doesn't matter how you look at it. God only have one mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the mind the Bible said we supposed to have. That's right. Let the same mind be in you. Amen. That's in Christ Jesus. Because the mind of Christ, you can't turn somebody husband loose. You can't turn somebody white, whatever. Amen. Here comes something to make you turn it loose. Yes, sir. What it is? The mind of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. The mind of Christ, you won't go rob the bank. Isn't that right? Amen. Mind of Christ, you won't be a liar. Truly. Amen. Because the truth is in Jesus. Is that what yeah. the word says? Amen. Amen. Right. I'll have truth in me and I'll speak the truth. Why? Surely, surely. I had the mind of Christ. Amen. I have, I have to get along with you also with the mind of Christ. Amen. I have Amen. to love my enemies. What? With the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. Without the mind of Christ, you can't do nothing in God. Amen. Amen. I got to have this mind that Christ Jesus had. Surely. Amen. We ought to be tired of our sins. Amen. Amen. And get the mind of Christ that we do what? We going to cease from sin. Amen. I isn't that right? That's right. You can't live right till you get the mind. Ask God to give you the mind. Of amen. Christ. Amen. Boy, it's, it, it, it's a freely, freely we give, freely we receive. Is that that's right? right? That's right. This thing is something that's free. Amen. What does it say, Rita? 1 Peter 4 and 1. All right. For it's much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh. What should I do? Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Now, I don't care how you're feeling today. Each and every one of us today that woke up, we have some kind of different opinion about that's this or right, that. That's right. What you have, my way. That's right. I'm going to satisfy myself. Amen. But Jesus didn't come and satisfy himself. No. Is that right? No. He gave his life for you. Amen. 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 Is that right? Amen. Died on the 